Hello YouTube, and welcome to my week 6 battle of the PBF. Sorry it's coming a bit late, but I don't think you'll be disappointed. I am Pokytai90, the coach of your Dallas Staryus, and this week we're up against the Carolina Caterpies, coached by Corey. I'll have the links in the description for his YouTube and Twitter. You can check out my team building video to see all my sets, but you can see I have Fortress, Excadrill, Jellicent, Celebi, Mega Tyranitar, and Azumarill. And Cory is bringing Victini and Mega Charizard Y, both who I prepared extensively for, Milotic and Keldeo, who I planned for a bit, Donphan, who I'm not too terribly worried of, and Meloetta, who I literally, after completing my team, asked a friend, what is Meloetta? Because I have so little interaction with it. I actually don't know if there's any other Pokemon in existence who is more foreign to me, so maybe we can learn a little bit about it and what it can do. Um, without, without further delay, let's jump into the match. Alright, so Cory is issuing a challenge. Um, as discussed in the team builder, I plan on leading with Fortress if he brings Victini. And he did, but he actually leads with Meloetta. So I'm like, I don't know how this will uh, play out. But he hard switches, which is fantastic, and into Victini, which is even more fantastic. So I set up my Stealth Rocks. Now I'm thinking, great, I'll be able to get a layer of Toxic Spikes up as he takes me to one uh, with to my Sturdy. But he actually goes for Energy Ball, predicting a switch. And I get up my Toxic Specs. So Energy Ball, special, something, and maybe he's Specs or Scarfed. He sw hard switches, making me all the more likely to believe he is Scarfed or Specs. Into Zard Y, who takes 49.9% of its HP. And I set up the second layer of Toxic Specs. Now, unfortunately, I won't get a chance to get the KO that I had planned on getting, uh, because my Sturdy was broken by that Energy Ball prediction. So... So I was going to Mega and Drought and Flamethrower, which will KO the Fortress. So he is up 6-5, but I have all of the momentum in the world with all that setup. The Toxic Spikes we know to punish the Dawn Fan, and then I have the Jellicent that can just switch. So in comes the Azumarill, and he goes for Roost. As I go for Waterfall, which we know in the sun is going to do about 70 to uh, 75%, and then Aqua Jet can finish, uh, finish it off if it, were, if it were to stand. So out he switches for the Milotic. I don't over-predict here. I didn't want to miss out KOing the Zard Y, as it is so threatening. So Milotic comes in on Rocks, on Toxic Spikes, times 2, to be badly poisoned, takes the Aqua Jet, which will do nothing, and then we'll take the poison damage, and we'll get his leftovers. Bury it along interturn there. But so, I mean, we're so thrilled right now with this match, um, what's going on. So, I say in, predicting a toxic, but I figure I'm not too concerned of that, because I want to knock off, because I know how threatening Milotic is, and I was, I was concerned about that Milotic. Um, if... If he can play Milotic as well as I have played Milotic in the past. But it getting badly poisoned means he is on a timer. Um, so out I'll switch for the Celebi. I, he could be, if he was super cheeky, he would have double Toxic, but Recover was a very good play for him. Uh, but I was switching out to Celebi because I'm fine. Give him an Ice Beam. I don't particularly care. I'm going to heal the Toxic off of Azumarill. Uh, with Heal Ball. And he's going to switch out to the Meloetta, which I have no idea what that even is. Takes rock damage, gets badly poisoned. I'm also pressuring with the Mons that I've had out, so he can't switch in the Dawn Fan. So he can't get rid of those things before the other Mons come in. So everyone is getting badly poisoned and getting hurt by rocks. So now he goes for the Hyper Voice, and we see that does a solid chunk. That's, I mean, I mean Celebi is the bulk master, so it is going to be like a 5-hit KO, maybe, with Giga Drain, but, because yeah, Giga and Leftovers, that's, eh, that's not going to KO any time in the near future, but he's going to continue with the Hyper Voice, but no, I'm, Celebi got the Heal Bell off, which was critical, um, in my eyes, and I'm just going to keep on Giga Draining and let this thing go down with the poison. And, you know, I'm not taking as much damage, because 
Giga Drain plus leftovers. So now it should die to one more turn, but he will switch out. Expecting a Giga, he's going to switch out to the Victini. Um, of course, I'm not planning anything tricky just yet. Let the Victini come in, take rocks, get, ba uh, get badly poisoned. And the Giga does actually a lot more than I expected it to. So, oh, it was a crit, that's why I'm like, wow, that did a ton. Um, and my leftovers, so I'm sitting in a very good position. And he's going to be hurt by poison, so he's down to less than half. So now, predicting fire move, I make the switch to Jellicent. And he goes for blue flare. No idea what that move is, but we can see it is not very effective. And I'm still a little confused as to, is this like mixed, is this special, is it specs, but he's absolutely a choice because he switches right out. And Meloetta comes in, which is going to take more rocks damage. And I went for the taunt, expecting Milotic to come back in. Um, so I've revealed that, so, you know, I can win, with taunt, I can win 1v1 against Milotic. Um, I won't be able to recover, the, it doesn't have leftovers, the toxic will take it down. So, this Meloetta goes for the Thunderbolt, not knowing what it could do to me, but knowing that it would die in that turn, figure it can do whatever it wants and I will just recover. So the Meloetta goes down. He sends out the Victini. Hurts by rocks. Still badly poisoned. He goes for the Energy Ball. Which we see is super effective, but does not even do half. And I do go for the Recover. Again, knowing that everyone's on a timer, he's going to die to the toxic spikes here, in, or the toxic in just a moment. And we can see at that point he concedes that there's nothing he's able to do. Um, so that is the match. So I end up getting the win, 5-0. Um, very, very pleased with everything I did. The team building, I thought, was put me in a huge advantage going into this match. Um, I certainly was caught off guard with the Victini not being physical. Um, everyone always predicts a V-Create um, Wild Charge, which would have been very scary for me. But all in all, I'm very, very pleased with the match. Um, I actually am having my upcoming match, uh, Week 7, here very, very quick. So look forward to that team builder and that video very soon, too. Uh, but let me know what you think down below of my team, the team building, the match itself. Um, likes, comments, subscribes are all cool, too. And I will see you guys again soon. Thanks.